What is an experimental film? A difficult question to answer but we can define and identify the area of experimental film as being anything that challenges the norm, something that attempts not to tell a story, but instead the film's main concern is the aspect of moving image. By prioritizing certain features the filmmaker creates interesting questions about perception, awareness and reality, but also makes you think about the cinematic form. There has been pioneering and inventive film creators since film and cinema began, rising from mainstream and art house productions, driving cinema further into new and untested areas, creating films with a difference. Experimental films, experimental cinema or avant-garde, are phrases that describe a collection of filmmaking approaches and methods, which are usually very different to the normal practices and styles of mainstream and documentary filmmaking. The term underground has been used in the past to explain this type of cinema. Whereas the word experimental covers a wide range of techniques and styles. Most experimental films are created on no or extremely small funds. They can be self-financed or financed through small grants, with minimal crew or, rather commonly, a crew of only one person, the filmmaker. Experimental films are outside of the mainstream scope making it hard to find a detailed history and barely a few works are available on DVD. By description, experimental cinema lies outside Hollywood's commercial industry. This type of film is characterized by its environment of the audience and the venues it's shown, such as specialist cinemas or art galleries. This is a result of obscuring these films from the attention of the masses. An experimental film is often characterized by the non-existence of linear narrative or story, the use of a variety of conceptual and abstract techniques, for example, out-of-focus imagery, painting or scratching on film cells, and fast-paced editing. As well as the visual aspects, experimental films play on the use of sounds, music or even the lack of a soundtrack altogether. The ideas and intention is to place the viewer in a more active, dynamic, and thoughtful relationship with the film. It has been argued that experimental film is no longer in fact experimental, but has in fact become a film genre in its own right. The characteristics, such as, the non-narrative, impressionistic or poetic approaches to the film's construction are what, define and what is generally understood to be experimental. Some of the key moments in the history of avant-garde are almost certainly the European abstract and surrealist movement in the 1920s, the revolutionary underground film scene in 1960s and Derek Jarman in the 1980s. In some of these cases experimental film broke out of its often self-imposed obscurity to take part in a wider cultural picture. In the 1920s, experimental film emerged in Europe. The two main factors were that cinema had developed as a medium, and avant-garde movements in the visual arts had thrived due to the Dadaists and Surrealists movements in cinema. One of the most famous experimental films from this era is believed to be Louis Buñuel and Salvador Dali Sanchi in Andalou, made in 1928, which in English means an Andalusian dog. It is one of the best-known surrealist films of the 1920s European avant-garde movement. This film uses a technique called dream logic, which shows a series of slightly related imagery to shock the viewer. There were other famous filmmakers who created abstract and surrealist shorts. For example, Hans Richter, who in 1921 at the start of the European avant-garde movement created one of the first abstract films, Rhythmer 21, consisting of squares of lights growing, shrinking, or pulsating white on black, implying a drumbeat without the sound. Man Ray also directed a number of influential avant-garde short films such as Zimak Baker, in 1926, 
which the most baffling of Man Ray's films, involving some of his most strange abstract visual imagery, with far less recognizable images than his other films. Another well-known filmmaker is Lan Lai. Lai began to compose films in association with the British General Post Office. Lai experimented with painting directly onto film, a technique that he pioneered. In 1935, the film, A Color Box, which was an advertisement for the GPO about cheaper parcel post. The film was made up of a collection of complicated and messy movement, which had been painted onto the film. The patterns stream on and off screen, with the vibrant and energetic shapes seemingly dancing to Cuban music. A Color Box is one of the great classics of British animation.